I think that there there is something about this wondrous state of like not not being able to trust your eyes, not being really sure what you're looking at, trying to figure that out, and that with the kind of calm of the space, there's something happening in that relationship that I think, I don't know, it's very elevating in a way. The Sky Space is located on the rooftop of the Student Activity Center, which is in the heart of campus. You go to the third floor and you exit onto a rooftop. The rooftop contains an elliptical cylinder with a doorway. And when you enter into it, it's a room. There is seating all around the perimeter. And on the ceiling, there's a, uh, an opening called an oculus uh, that frames the sky in a kind of unexpected way. It's an open eye observatory where you watch celestial phenomenon, especially at sunrise and sunset, where there's an organized sequence of lights that illuminate the interior of the space. And in doing so, it changes your perception of the sky so that the sky appears to, uh, to take on many different colors throughout about an hour long light sequence each day. Prior to the Landmarks program launching in 2008, um, there were no substantial works of modern or contemporary art on the university's campus. And so the idea of bringing Terrell as part of that, it was an ambitious project, but it also made so much sense because his work has a capacity to really be able to appeal to people regardless of their interest in contemporary art. It, it is, it is a, a space, he creates these spaces that really pull people together in a shared experience in a way that really is very moving. Students, members of the community, people coming from out of town, some 60,000 of them just to see the sky space. And you have to remember, it only seats about 25 people at a time. So it's really all day that there's a constant flow of people when I go in there, I see, um, oftentimes I'll see students reading a book or just staring at the sky, and they're just, they're just unplugging. They're just taking a moment to just get away from the churn of campus life and, uh, and to kind of recenter before heading back out again. So last year, I, uh, I had a group of people that I was bringing to see the sky space, and I walked in and I saw this group of beautiful students standing in the center of the sky space looking at each other. And there were like 12 of them. And I thought, this is very strange. And what are they doing? So I, I walked in and I said, hey, what are you guys doing? And they looked very guilty. They were looking at each other, trying to figure out whether they should tell me or not. And, um, and finally, one of them fessed up and they said, we're singing. And I couldn't believe it. I thought, how fantastic. This is great. They were, they were afraid they were gonna be in trouble, uh, but I, I was delighted. This group um, was one of probably a number who were sneaking into the sky space to do these secret acapella practices. Um, and they liked the space because it's kind of semi-private, but it has great acoustics. And so I thought, well, why are, why are we not, um, why are we not, using this opportunity to create a program that accommodates this desire. And why are we not celebrating this? Because it's, it's wonderful to be in that space and to hear this music. So we, so we started Songs in the Sky Space. So there are great performers who are in the sky space every Sunday night. They're there uh, for the first part of uh, the sunset light sequence. We have a cappella singers from different campus groups, uh, and we also have musicians from Austin Classical Guitar who are performing there.
these ideas about how you imagine people might interact with them. But there is no way that you can predict the creative, just resourceful ways that different people will, will engage and then their takeaways and then what they do to build upon that. Every night you go in there, you have no idea what you're going to see or what you're going to hear. And every single moment in that space, it's different. So the idea of bringing people into it to have a kind of communal exchange through song seems perfectly in the spirit of what James Terrell is trying to do. <laughs> Yeah.